something big is about to happen. Would you look at this? Hulu has released some images from season six of The Handmaid's Tale. I wonder what made them do that. I wonder what made them choose now. Are you watching The Handmaid's Tale? Have you watched the first few seasons here? Do you know what The Handmaid's Tale is all about? No? Well, let me tell you. The Handmaid's Tale is based on a book by Margaret Atwood, and it, that book was written way back in 1985. So in these books, the readers get transported to a dystopian future where the United States has been overthrown by the Republic of Gilead. The Gilead is a totalitarian, Christo-fascist regime. Now, within this new society established by Gilead, women are stripped of their rights and reduced to mere vessels for reproduction. I wonder why they would put those doggone stills out today. Anywho, the story centers around Alfred. Now, Alfred is a handmaid assigned to bear children for the commander's, um, that is Gilead's elite class, the ruling class. Through Alfred's eyes, we witness the harrowing realities of a patriarchal society where women are denied autonomy and are forced into sexual servitude. Atwood's novel also dives into the themes of being powerless in the face of this oppression, uh, the loss of female agency, and the suppression of reproductive rights. Rights. It also highlights the resilience of a handful of women who resist and seek to reclaim their individuality and their independence. And as we go through uh, six seasons of watching the television version of Alfred navigate the oppressive regime that she finds herself under, it makes you kind of feel like, wow, what the hell would we do if that was to happen in real life? You know, I'm going to share some of these, these stills from this upcoming season of The Handmaid's Tale because I'm extremely excited to, to watch, to get into this final season before they start going into spinoff territory because that is on the table. That's in the cards for Handmaid's Tale. They're going to go off into spinoff territory. And I'm here for it. I'm 100% here for it. This was a series that I had to be convinced to watch. And since watching it, I have been trying to convince others that this series is 100% worth your time. Um, before the stuff that it has recently been happening in the United States, long before we got here, I was like, this is a series that I would like to share with other people. I, I can't afford to give people a Christmas gift. I wish I could put a bow around this series and hand it to every woman I know and me. Hand it to you and say, this is my gift to you. I am encouraging you to get into this series. Now, the first two seasons, I think, are probably Handmaid's Tale at its best. I think things um, start going further and further into, okay, I got to suspend my disbelief just a little. But I suspended my disbelief about the first two seasons because I was like, this could never happen. And look at where we are. Look where we are now. Now, in fairness, the Handmaid's Tale series debuted, I think, at the height of Trump's first presidency. And maybe people, you know, may have fallen off and felt like, whoa, we dodged a bullet. And here we are right in front of that damn bullet again. So maybe this is the time that I can encourage a larger group of people. And I know it's a lot of people watching it anyway. I know I'm not, I don't, some of y'all is the choir and I'm preaching to the choir, but I'm also preaching to all those people sitting in the back row. Yep. Bring your ass up to the front, sit in this front pew because I need y'all to hear this sermon. Please, please do yourselves a favor. 
watch The Handmaid's Tale. Look, if you're not into it after the first, say, two or three episodes, you're probably not going to get into it. And then just fall on back. Just fall on back. But if you are into it after the first couple of episodes, if you can get caught up by April, I haven't talked about The Handmaid's Tale as far as doing an episode by episode review or doing a season review. I haven't done any of those things. But that new season is coming out in April. And if you guys are all caught up by April, then let me know if you guys want to do a week by week of The Handmaid's Tale. Or would you like, after you've gotten into it and you see whether it's something that you can stand or not, and I don't care what side of the political aisle you sit on, you really, this is not about the politics of it. These are not Democrats or Republicans. This is a, a society that has been taken over by re religious fanatics. And religious fanatics come in all flavors, all flavors. So look at that. Watch The Handmaid's Tale. And let me know, do you guys want to do a season by season review? Do you guys want to wait until April? do an episode by episode review, because I think this is something that is worth the conversation. I also have on my very short list of things to do is watching 1984. Because for some reason, that book is trending. And I'm like, oh, my sister and I were talking and she's like, oh, you know, we can watch the movie. She tells me where the movies are playing and I'm like, I've got that. I can, you know, I'm poor. I can't watch everything because I don't have every streaming service, but I've got Tubi, baby, and everybody else does too. So it's on Tubi, 1984. I do believe that I am going to be doing a, a review about that since it is something that all of a sudden has become relevant again. Isn't it funny how stuff that's from 1984 and 1985 are so winging their way back around. It's almost as if we're not heading into the future. We're taking steps back into the past. Hmm. I wonder why that is. I wonder if it has anything to do with number one, us electing people who are damn near a hundred years old into the highest office of the land. I mean, why would they be looking to the future? And I'm not trying to be funny. Why would they be looking to the future? For them, it's today. But for us, you know, we got a few more tomorrows. And we also have young children who have a lot of tomorrows. We hope. God willing. Blessed be the fruit. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you guys are into that, let me know down in the comments. I am all ears, but please, please, please let's watch The Handmaid's Tale when it comes back in April. Or if you haven't watched it yet, watch it now. Watch where we are now with The Handmaid's Tale, and uh, then we can pick up in April. And yeah, I hope to uh, get some feedback from you guys about if whether or not this is something that y'all want to talk about, because I do. Now, some things I'm going to talk about, whether you want to talk about them or not, right? Y'all see that box office. Y'all see I continuously talk about the box office. Yes, I'm 100% aware that y'all are not watching those videos. I love talking about the box office. So I'm going to continue talking about the box office. So anywho, if you like this video, please like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you will know when I upload. Yeah, I like to meet y'all here, right here at this corner. Right oh. here. I will talk to you guys in the next video. You deserve so much more than just tea. Peace.